Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, we're going to be starting off a series dedicated to discussing multiple choice questions of the CBSE board exam. As you've learned that this year there'll be two exams for students of CBSE and the first exam will be a multiple choice question exam. So for most of the history throughout CBSE, people used to write essayed answers for the exam. But now that MCQs are a part of the exam, we need to find out strategies in order to tackle MCQs. So today we'll be looking at some sample questions of biology from the chapter Reproduction in Organisms. So remember that these are sample questions from other sources but they can actually give us the closest idea of how to tackle MCQs in order to attend the CBSE exam in December. So without further ado, let's start off this episode. Our first question is from biology. As we've said, this is from the chapter Reproduction in Organisms. Arrange the following with respect to increasing lifespan. Rose, fruit fly, rice. So which of the options here are correct? Is it A, B, C, or D? Well, in the chapter Reproduction in Organisms, the first thing we study about are, is about lifespan. It's about life, lifespan, life expectancy, and so on. So there are some examples given in the textbook, and it says that a rose lasts for five to seven years. A fruit fly lasts for 40 to 50 days and rice lasts for three to four months. Now remember we're talking about the rice plant here not the seed. So as we've seen rose, fruit fly and rice are the three things that we have and we we know the years the life lifespan of each of them from the textbook. So now that we know that Comparing the three, rose has the increased lifespan, the highest lifespan, while fruit fly has the least. So, which of these options is correct? Let's look at the question again. Arrange the following with respect to increasing lifespan. So what does this phrase mean? It means that we should arrange the given options in ascending order. That means we should write the least, that means the organism with the least lifespan first and the organism with the largest lifespan in the end. So that means we should write fruit fly first, then we should write rice and after that we should write rose. So therefore option A is the correct option. If we look at B, C, and D, B starts with rose, but it's not the lowest. It's the it has the highest lifespan, so it's incorrect. Option C says rice, but rice lives for three to four months, which is incorrect. And in option D, it says rose is in the middle, and rice has the higher lifespan, but rice only lasts for three to four months, while a rose lasts for five to seven years. So therefore option D is also incorrect. The correct answer is option A, fruit fly, rice, and rose. So fruit fly lives shorter than rice, which lives shorter than rose. Let's look at another question. Which of the following habitats, I mean which of the following factors, is or are responsible for how the organism reproduces? A. Organism habitat, B. Internal physiology, C. Environmental factors, D. More than one option is correct. So there are two ways to ha get this. You can do it the easy way or you can do it in the easiest way. So let's look at both of them. Let's look at each of the options first. Option A. Organism's habitat. Well, it is true that organism's habitat is a factor in how it's, it reproduces. 
The reason being that in unsafe conditions, organisms reproduce asexually, and while in other cases they reproduce genetically. So therefore, the breeding ground that the organism inhabits can affect how it reproduces. So therefore, organisms habitat is a factor. But let's look at the next option. It says internal physiology. Well, internal physiology means that you can determine whether the reproduction will be somatic, somatogenic, or sexual. So therefore, internal physiology also plays a role. What about environmental factors? Environmental factors refer to like the difference between you know fair and harsh conditions. For example, in fair conditions, amoeba reproduce by binary fission, while in harsh conditions they undergo multiple fission or even sporogenesis. So as you can see all of these um, options are responsible for how the organism reproduces. But there is a problem. If you were to select option A as the correct answer, that means internal physiology and environmental factors would be considered incorrect, would be considered not responsible, which is wrong. Similarly, if you were to click B or C, you'll be excluding the other options. So that means options A, B, and C cannot be correct. The only option that's correct is option D. More than one option is correct. Now, once you've recognized that all of these habit, all of these factors are important, they are responsible, just look at the question again. The question says is or are. So now we know that more than one factor can be possible, so therefore you can directly pick option D as the correct answer. So even the framing of the question is very important when it comes to attacking it for the answer. Here's the next question. Which one can't be included under the basic feature of reproduction? Now remember the word here is can't. That means we should find out which of these is not included as a basic feature for reproduction. So let, we have four options. Option A says DNA replication. B says formation of reproductive units. C says meiosis is never involved. D says growth due to synthesis of more protoplasm. Now, when it comes to reproduction, well, first the organism has to grow before reproducing. In case of sexually reproducing organisms, the organism grows until it reaches its adult stage before starting to reproduce. While when it comes to asexual organisms, they undergo cell division, so therefore that, need, that means that they have to go through the interface where everything grows, where the cytoplasm grows. So therefore, D is a basic feature, so you can say that this option is true. And since the option is true, we can consider it to be incorrect. Here we're saying that option D we're saying that which of the options cannot be included, but we know that D can, so that means it's incorrect. So here, as you can see, we're eliminating all the options first so that we get to the right option. What about option A, DNA replication? This means that the genetic material of any organism is replicated before reproduction, so that is true. When it comes to asexual reproduction, there is a replication of DNA before the cell splits. And when it comes to sexual reproduction, multiple replication takes place so that a part of the D DNA can be present in the gametes. So therefore, DNA replication do is a basic feature, so it can be included. Option A can be included as a basic feature, so therefore the option is incorrect. Now what about option B, formation of reproductive units? Well, let's look at both cases again, somatogenic and sexual reproduction. So 
In case of sexual reproduction, we have the zygote as a reproductive unit. So when the gametes join together, they form the zygote, and it's from the zygote that you know a new baby starts to form. It's from the zygote that the new life starts to form. In case of asexual reproduction, you have the somatic cell which divides, so that can be considered as a reproductive unit. So in both cases we have formation of reproductive units and they are important, so therefore option B can be included as a basic feature, so it is incorrect. The correct option, the option that cannot be included under a basic feature of reproduction, is option C. Meiosis is never involved as all divisions are mitotic. Now, this option is incorrect. It is false. And the reason being that during reproduction, especially sexual reproduction, meiosis is present. Since we have to jo we ha since we have to you know, have variations, meiosis is present so that the same amount of genetic material is present in the offspring. And also if you want to form haploid organisms, then meiosis has to take place after the formation, after the gamete formation also. And, I mean after the fusion of gametes. So therefore, meiosis is an integral part of reproduction, so that means Meiosis is never involved as all divisions are mitotic, cannot be a basic feature of reproduction. Now, next question. Which one of the following can show somatogenic reproduction? Paramecium, amoeba, hydra, all of these. So, what do you mean by somatogenic reproduction? In somatogenic reproduction, the reproductive unit is a somatic cell. And a somatic cell is a cell which is diploid and which is not used in sexual reproduction. So, reproduction which has somatic cell as its reproductive unit is also called as a sexual reproduction. So we, we need to find out which of these organisms show asexual reproduction. Paramecium reproduces by fission. Amoeba also reproduces by fission. Hydra reproduces by fission and also budding. So that means options A, B, and C, all of them can show somatogenic reproduction which means that D has to be the correct answer. If you were to just select paramecium, it would mean that amoeba and hydra are not somatogenic, are not under somatogenic reproduction, which would be wrong. We have to include all of them, so therefore the most appropriate option is option D, all of the above. Now, in MCQs, we come across questions which are known as assertion reason questions. These are very important as a lot of people make errors in these kinds of questions. So we have a question below which contains an assertion followed by a reason. So that means we have two statements and the assertion statement means a statement of a fact and the reason statement represents the cause that res results to the fact. So, we have to read this question carefully and answer the question in basis of the following options. And in assertion reason questions, the correct option depends on the two statements described. So we need to find out the relation between the two statements and select one of the four options. Let's look at each of the options first. In all assertion and reason questions, these will be the four options, or something similar. If both assertion and reason are correct, and reason is the correct explanation of assertion, we mark the question as A. 
If both assertion and reason are correct, but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion, we mark B. If assertion is correct, but reason is incorrect, we mark C. And if both assertion and reason are incorrect, we mark D. So, what does this mean? Let's say, for example, we have an assertion that says, rain falls from, from clouds. And the reason statement is, when the water inside the clouds grow too heavy, they fall as rain. So as you can see here, the assertion is that rain falls from clouds and the reason is that when, air, when the water in the clouds becomes heavy, they fall, up, they fall down as rain. So it is due to the fact that water becomes heavy in the clouds that we find rain. So therefore, the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion, which means that in this particular scenario, A will be correct. So in order to solve these kinds of questions, we have a special trick up our sleeve. In order to see how to mark the option, First, we have to analyze both statements. So this means that we need to see whether the assertion is true or false and whether the reason is true or false. So if the, if the reason is incorrect, then we immediately mark C. And if the assertion is correct and reason is incorrect, we mark C. If both of them are incorrect, we mark D. Now, what if the assertion and reason are correct? Then we move on to our second step. Connect the two sentences with the word because and see if it makes sense. In our example, rain falls from clouds because when the water in the clouds becomes too heavy, they fall as rain. So as you can see, if you use the connector because between the assertion and the reason, the whole statement makes sense. In that kind of scenario, A will be correct. If they do not make sense, but are still, the correct, are still correct statements, then B will be correct. So now that we've discussed about assertion reason questions, let's have an example for those. Here is one. Assertion. Leaves of bryophyllum and begonia help in vegetative multiplication. Reason. The leaves of these plants possess adventitious buds. So, first we need to see if the assertion and reason are correct. So, the leaves of bryophyllum and begonia help in vegetative multiplication. The word vegetative multiplication refers to asexual reproduction in plants due to various structures inside the plants. And bryophyllum and begonia both are examples given in the textbook for vegetative multiplication, so the assertion is true. Now, that means that option D will not be correct. For that, the assertion has to be incorrect, but here the assertion is correct. Now, let's look at the reason. Leaves of these plants possess adventitious buds. And if you look at the example, if you look at the picture of begonia or biophyllum that's given in the textbook, you'll notice that they have these kinds of plantlets present in them and these are what are called adventitious buds. So therefore, the reason is also true. So both of these are true statements. This means that option C is also incorrect because it says that the reason is incorrect. Now, let's move on to our second step. Connect them with because. Leaves of bryophyllum begonia help in vegetative multiplication because the leaves of these plants possess adventitious buds. So, adventitious buds are those areas of the plant which give rise to new plants. And since the leaves of these plants have adventitious buds, 
they help in vegetative multiplication, which is asexual reproduction. So therefore, when you put the word because between the assertion and the reason, the statement makes sense. So that means option A will be correct. Both assertion and reason are correct, and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Which also means that option B is incorrect, because we know that reason is the correct explanation. So that is how you solve an assertion reason question. So, that concludes this episode of CBSE MCQs. We hope you found this episode interesting. We'll be adding more videos on this playlist soon. To watch out for those, subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios, and hit our notifications icon, which is present below the video. So, until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.